right, flying to Chicago. We're going to be doing some kayaking there. There's Grapevine Lake. We've got Louisville Lake, which is very low. We've also got, there's Lake Ray Roberts. That's Wolf Island. Kayak out there. Uh, lots of colors. You don't get that too much in Texas. There's the Sears Tower for the first time. Got to Chicago. Little river walk action. Those are the corn cob buildings, so to speak, but they're also the marina buildings. One thing I didn't know that Lake Michigan had waves. Beautiful lake. It was about 40 degrees. We came from Dallas, which was about 70 ish degrees. A little bit of a temperature shock. They do kayak out here. They do have kayak rentals. We're planning on kayaking in the river, Chicago River, in Chicago. It's called Chicago Kayaks. But I mean, it's just amazing the views you get on the beach. Being from Texas, it's amazing to see all the different colors, just beautiful scenery that Chicago has to offer, beautiful buildings as well, and food. I do love deep dish pizza now. I'm a fan. Decided to set the GoPro up for some time-lapse shots of Chicago at night. Turned out pretty cool. With the agenda jam-packed full of other things, we didn't have a ton of time to kayak, but we did find a place that was open. It's called Kayak Chicago. It goes around this little island here called Goose Island. Pretty neat little experience. Kayak Chicago. So I have to admit that I was extremely nervous. There was some big boats kind of passing through. They're not too big, but the wake that it was throwing off was a bit much. But once I got out here moving, I felt right at home. It was a great day to be out too. It was about 60 degrees from 40 from when we landed, but it was an amazing time just to kind of see the city skyline and just see all the cool features. This typically takes about an hour to go around. So I decided, since I'm flying out here in about four hours, to keep it just a short trip. But I still wanted to see it. If you live in the Chicago area, I recommend going out to Kayak Chicago. The people are so friendly and amazing. We had a great time. It's just beautiful scenery. They also have beginner courses 
you can sign up for. They can teach you how to do what I've learned over the last couple of years. And they're very patient. And again, it's a little confusing to get to because I'm not from Chicago, so it's a the traffic is a little strange. The craziest thing is that the lanes just end. You're driving and then all of a sudden your lane's gone. So don't rent a car if you can help it. Take public transportation. I highly recommend doing that as well. Another thing that was odd is people just driving on the shoulders. Just flying down the shoulders as you're driving the highway to see these people like flying down on the shoulders. What the heck? I'll leave a link to the Chicago Kayak Company below so you can click on that. Again, amazing time we had. And again, as always, I do appreciate and thank you for watching. Alright, the first pizza we tried was at the roof at our hotel, The Wit. It was a, not a deep dish, but it was amazing, thin crust. We tried Lou Malnati's. Not a huge fan, they had these huge chunks of tomatoes. Not the best pizza we had. Giordano's. Oh, this was amazing. This was probably the best pizza we had while we were there, in my opinion. It was, it was great. So once we landed in Texas, I really missed it. So I went to Tom Thumb and got some deep dish. It was really good. If you need a fix for some deep dish, I highly recommend Geno's. I picked it up at Tom Thumb. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.